Hi friends, welcome to Brains Gossip. In today's video, we'll be learning about the sand spilling problem. The statement of the problem is a flat car of mass m0 start moving to the right due to a constant horizontal force f. Sand spills on the flat car from the stationary hopper. The velocity of the loading is constant and equals to mu kg per second. Find the time dependence of the velocity and the acceleration of the flat car in the process of loading. The friction is negligibly small. So let us understand the problem by a simple diagram. In the free body diagram of our problem we can see that a flat car of green color moving on the green platform and sands spills on the flat car from the hopper. Now the question is what makes the problem difficult from the ordinary problem of mechanics. The problem is that here the mass is getting increased on the flat car by time. So as you can see in the video that the sand on the flat car is getting increased with respect to time. So the kinematics will be somewhat different from the ordinary problem of mechanics. So it's a problem of variable mass. And that is why we cannot solve the problem by directly applying the Newton's second law of motion. So we have to modify the problem for the variable mass. So for the solution of our problem, here we consider the car is moving in a fixed reference frame to which the hopper is fixed at any instant of time. So let the mass be m and the velocity be v. The general equation for variable mass system is m dv dt equal to f plus u dm dt. We write the equation for our system as m dv dt equal to f v dm dt as u equal to minus v. So we can write m dv dt plus v dm dt equal to f. So we can write d dt of m v equal to f. So on integrating we get v equal to f t by m. But we know m equal to m0 plus mu t. As the rate of loading of mass is constant that is mu we can write m equal to m0 plus mu t where m0 is the mass of the flat car. So we can write v equal to f t by m0 plus mu t. Thus the acceleration is a equal to dv dt equal to d dt of f t by m0 plus mu t. So here we are simply putting the value of v as v equal to f t by m0 plus mu t. So we can differentiate the term with respect to t and we get a equal to f by m0 mu t minus mu f t by m0 plus mu t whole square. So we can write mu f t minus mu f t plus m0 by m0 plus mu t whole square. So the mu f t cancels each other. So we can write m0 f by m0 plus mu f whole square. So that is the required expression for the acceleration. Thank you for watching.